chill. What was he doing? What was he shooting at? Yo, I'm shooting like shit, but if any of you need comms, hit me up. That was good comms. Al Karar, you fucking dog shit, you fucking idiot. Fucking I'll keep saying that's why I fuck bitch. your sister and kill your mother and your grandmother and your cousin and, kill and kill your best bro. friend. Shut the fuck kill up. Your girlfriend looks like fucking fat birth of fucking fat ass blue oil bitch. She has three titties, that's how fat she is. She got no milk either. She's a useless cow, hollow cow. Eat a light bulb for real, bro. Shitter. You know guys, before I start today's video, I feel like this type of video genuinely needs like a, a viewer discretion is advised type of moment. Maybe like a very, very clear warning for a lot of people out there, a disclaimer if you will. Today's video is gonna involve a lot of shit talk. All right, well, I'm gonna be saying a lot of horrible, terrible, offensive things to a lot of people that are probably gonna have a problem with what I gotta say, so if you can't handle the word fuck, shit, bitch, fat, dog shit, uh, MW2019 is for virgins, people who buy black cell belong on the short bus, if you can't handle any of these types of terms, this video is not for you. So guys, season three finally came out for MW2019 part three. And in my last video, I had told you guys that based on the roadmap, at least when it comes to the maps, I was actually pleased. Now, I very specifically said that I didn't care about the other 90% of the entire roadmap. The only part of the roadmap that I was looking at were the four maps that were coming out at launch and the two maps that were coming out in season. Now, once again, six 6v6 maps in a single season of Call of Duty I would say that's very good. However, I failed to mention, and I apologize for this, I failed to mention the other aspect of having new maps. Not only do we need the quantity of them to be higher, which we just barely hit for the first time in like five fucking years, but the quality of these maps also need to be good. And I just got done playing a quick session of season three, I played a few of the new maps. I'm just gonna be the one to say it. Six star, it's all right. A lot of people are comparing it to Raid. I don't know how you possibly get that from any of the pictures that we saw, but you're genuinely smoking horse cock. And secondly, Emergency. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Emergency, it's a fine map for what it is. It's just a tiny fucking fast paced shit fest. And I'm just gonna be straight up. We need to get the flying fuck away from this sort of theme from Call of Duty maps where every single new map needs to either replicate some other classic map in some way or at least have the same vibe to it, or the other selling point is that it replicates fucking shipment. If it's not either of those two things, it's likely just a fat ass dog shit map. And we've seen plenty of those in Call of Duty. And especially in a game where we launched with absolutely no original content, as developers, you put yourself in a position where now you need to catch up in quantity, but now you really need to make sure that you're hitting the mark with quality. And look, even aside from the map itself and the design, there's still some fundamental errors that I still see to this very fucking day, like the spawns. The spawns are fucking putrid. They are dog shit. If you played Emergency, yes, you're kind of asking for it because it's a fucking shipment map, but the spawn logic, it, it actually makes me want to start saying words that would probably get me canceled, okay? I'm just gonna be straight up. Any developer that's been working on spawn logic in Call of Duty, especially in this game right here, you deserve to be on the short bus, take a first class ticket over to Epstein Island, and Bobby Cosby is just gonna do Bobby Cosby things. I'm not gonna go any further into what that is, I'm just saying, Bobby Cosby's gonna do some Bobby Cosby shit. Now guys, that was just to address my last video because I had high hopes for the maps and you know what, playing the maps here, I mean, one of them is actually fairly fine. The other ones, the logic and spawns is just so fucking dog shit and the lag and the servers are horrifying that I can barely even stand playing this season right now in terms of pubs, all right? In terms of ranked play, I've actually been recognized in some ranked play lobbies and that's fucking cool. I'm just gonna be straight up right now. If you've seen me in ranked play, shoot me a message, say what's up. 
let's shoot bodies, let's go back and forth, talk some shit, you know what it is. But the other thing I heavily needed to address, and this ties into what I was just talking about when it comes to the servers, the spawn logic, and pretty much every other fundamental thing that's behind the scenes in Call of Duty that makes the fucking multiplayer, is just the fact that I'm getting the feeling once again that the developers are starting to focus on bullshit rather than fixing up their game. Now, Season 3, just like every other seasonal content update, launches with a lot of bugs, like people being unable to join a lobby, with people being unable to install the update, people's updates getting fucking stuck, and if you're lucky enough to get through these laggy dog shit servers, you're only met with one thing, which is dog shit fucking spawns. And where I'm going with this, if you can't tell already, is the fact that we're focusing less on this kind of stuff that I just mentioned and more on cosmetics and monetization and microtransactions and fucking black cell and stupidly ridiculous crossovers that make no goddamn sense. I'm gonna throw this up on the screen right now, guys. Apparently, uh, if you use the Cheech and Chong bundles, you shoot somebody and they get turned into a fucking joint. Now, I'm not gonna lie, let's just be honest. This is extremely fucking funny, but at what cost? Now, I'm not gonna say anything as to whether or not you buy Cheech and Chong bundles in MW 2019 Part 3 in 2024. If you wanna spend your money on some bullshit like that, look man, that's you. But let's be honest, all right? If you have any semblance of common sense, please, I, I need you to answer this question. Would you rather see people get turned into joints in the middle of a COD match, or would you like to see the spawns fixed? Would you like to see the servers fixed? Would you like to see all of these cheaters and hackers just be eliminated and cease to exist ever the fuck again? You guys tell me what you would prefer to have in this game. You know, I could live without seeing people get turned into joints in the middle of a game. You know, I, I can live without these ridiculously stupid cosmetics that are coming into Call of Duty. I mean, I, I think I saw somewhere the cinematic cutscene for season three where you follow the main characters, like it's Price and Makarov, they're trying to kill each other. I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore, but they're coming after each other and then it just pans over to like Snoop Dogg and these fucking dumbass cringe virginity filled operators like we're bringing the furries back again and the black cell skin just it looks like a fucking cock with warts. Guys, I don't understand the appeal, alright? I'm trying to understand from your guys' perspective and I'm not saying my viewers, I'm talking from the perspective of a fucking gooch looking moron. What? is the appeal behind wanting to look like a cock with herps, all right? I, look, look, I'm just being honest, okay? And I understand that we we went away from having good quality gameplay into the MW 2019 era of CODs where it's just about looking like a fucking moron on the map and thinking you look cool. I understand, all right? You know, we got away from trying to address concerns and now we're back to just advertising shamelessly the dumbass bundles and cosmetics in this game. I mean, you go to Charlie Intel's page, he talked about some of the things that got updated like frags and semtexes and stun grenades and, you know, some other shit. There is no mention of spawn logic. There is no mention of the fucking dog shit servers. There is hardly a mention of cheaters and hackers. But you know what you're gonna see a lot of? Oh, new bundles for MW 2019 Part 3 and Warzone Season 3. Season 3 Tier 100 skins. Here's a look at Stasis, the new Black Cell STD operator for Season 3 of MW 2019 Part 3 and Warzone. Cheech and Chong operator skins, fucking Snoop Dogg back, furries, Godzilla Kong bundles. And guys, I'm not saying that a, a focus on cosmetics and microtransactions automatically means that the game's gonna be dog shit. No, those two things can still coexist it just doesn't coexist in Call of Duty and it never has. I mean, Fortnite does it better, I'm not gonna lie. The cosmetics in Fortnite, the crossovers in Fortnite, they all make sense. You know why? Because it's a fucking children's game. You can have goofy characters in it. In Call of Duty, sure, if you want to bring them in, fine. Let people out themselves as virgins, it's okay. But at least let the game be playable. Because the servers are fucking monkey shit. The lag is ass. The packet burst is ass. You can't even see your own latency. It's ass. The spawn logic, Jesus Christ. I mean, there's a small map mosh pit. I played four maps 
of small map mosh pit and my IQ dropped. Guys, I had a friend who bought Black Cell and he became a virgin again. Okay, like that's what happens when you buy Black Cell. You spend a fuck ton of money on bullshit that looks like bullshit and I'm just gonna be the one to say it. 95% of the people that buy Black Cell or buy any of these cosmetics, they're dog shit at COD. Okay, like they fucking suck. Scad Master hit Crimson back in ranked play season two. What does that mean? Top 3%. Once again, here I am. I'm gonna start talking shit again in those fucking lobbies where your wins and your performance actually matters. You hardly come across people that are rocking these dumbass cringe virgin skins. And when you do, you know what happens? They get body slammed. They get fucked on. You piss on them, and then you start shooting bodies, you start lighting it up, and then you start talking shit on the mic. That's how it goes, guys. That's how it goes. In pubs, you come across these things all the goddamn time, but this is the difference. In those lobbies, as they're getting shitted on, when you start shooting their body, you'll notice some choppiness in the server. You'll notice some lag. And then they spawn right behind you. You know why? Because the fucking spawn logic is ass cheeks, and whoever developed it, at Sledgehammer Games, whoever's working on it, you fucking suck. I'm just letting you guys know, there's a clear difference in the games from back then in the Golden Era versus the MW 2019 era CODs, the Dark Ages of COD if you will. And it's not only that those games are just better, nobody outed themselves as a virgin back then. Now, I've began to have a deep-rooted hatred towards virgins, alright? I don't know what it is, first it was fat people, then it was Lizzo, then it was anybody who bought Black Cell, then it was MW2019 and all this other shit. Now it's virgins that out themselves with Black Cell skins, with fucking furry skins. I beefed with the furry one time, you know what happened? He got fucking shitted on. That's what happened. And people think I'm an asshole. No, you guys are fucking weird, I'm sorry. Keep that shit away from me. And if you are gonna be in the game, if you're on my team, please, for the love of God, shoot straight, you goddamn piss can. And if you're on the enemy team, at least offer some decent competition, you dog shit fuck. And Snoop Dogg, what the fuck are you doing in here? If I'm not mistaken, he actually might be free with the battle pass, but I mean, regardless, this is like the fifth time I've seen him. Get him out. I don't want to see him anymore. I'm sorry. I I've had enough of Snoop Dogg. He's cool. His music is, you know, okay if I were like a 70-year-old man, but please, for the love of God, enough Snoop Dogg, please. Sledgehammer developers, please, enough with the ridiculously stupid cosmetics. There, there's like an influx of them now. Like there's an abundance of just stupid shit in this game. Please, for the love of God, work on your spawns. Please, for the love of God, work on the servers. Get rid of these cheaters, the people at Ricochet. I don't know what the flying fuck you guys are doing. Please, work on your shit. I know the art team and the designers for these cosmetics, they're going hard, okay? It's very obvious they're going hard, like their entire job and lives depend on it. That's fine, but if you're going to include these dog shit virgin skins, please make the game playable. Please, for the love of God make the game playable. Cause right now it just feels like a broken clusterfuck of ass. I don't want to feel a broken clusterfuck of ass. I want to play a nice fluid game. At least when I'm playing pubs, okay? Like ranked play, it's like a, a whole separate game, a whole separate dimension, a whole different habitat over there. Over there, I'm not gonna lie, some things actually make sense, but in public match where the majority of casuals are playing for their sake, holy shit. Sledgehammer Games, you guys have no goddamn shame at all, do you? The cosmetics are cool, I guess, sometimes if you're a fucking virgin loser nerd, but to the rest of us who at least on one occasion ever in our lives have made eye contact with a fucking woman, please fix the game. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. What are your guys' thoughts on season three initially? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Toodles.